Chandler Hutchinson is in the NBA, proving every single day that he may be the best player to come out of Boise State, which is known for its standout pros in the NFL. The now Chicago Bull brought Boise State basketball back to prominence. Seeing everything he did and all the hard work he put in, I knew he was going to be a NBA player. I think we all did here at Boise State, said senior center Malik Harwell during the NBA draft party he and his teammates held last summer. Hutchinson is no longer a part of the Broncos, but head coach Leon Rice is. His team was a mere 14 seconds away from upsetting the then number 10 team in the country, Nevada. 10 seconds later, his team watched senior forward Cody Martin drill a three from near the Blue Bronco logo inside a packed Taco Bell arena. You know you played a great game to put yourself in the position to have a chance to beat them, and they made one more play than us, Rice said to the Idaho Statesman following practice on Jan. 25. The Broncos felt 8-9 overall and suffered their first loss in Mountain West play with the home loss to Nevada on Jan. 15 from then, the team has gone 2-4 in their last six games, including a 20-point loss in a rematch with Nevada on Feb. Two fans and students knew that the team would not be the same without Hutchinson, but no one believed that it would turn into this. Fans have posted pictures of garbage cans to describe the recent lost Air Force, with more people showing their displeasure on Twitter. It's a learning curve for the Broncos, as they only carry three seniors. We're frustrated, but then it's my job to regroup them and come out fighting, Rice said. The frustration ended when the Broncos were able to beat Wyoming at home 77-52 and Colorado State on the road 70-68 before the second defeat at the hands of Nevada. The Broncos were seconds from being 4-0 in conference and essentially controlling their own destiny before Nevada was able to win in the final seconds on Jan. 15 They now have to go 5-3 in the final eight games to finish the season with a winning record. Coach Rice has not had a losing season at Boise State since his first season on campus in 2010-2011. The narrative has been mixed all year. There were obvious questions coming into this season. Who will be the team leader with Hutchinson gone? Who will step up? What are the real expectations that surround them? How can Rice get this team to continue the success they've had in the past? The team started slowly, going 5-8 in non-conference play, with losses to Oregon and Idaho State. Then, a sudden three-game winning streak emerged and there was a newfound confidence. Then, another rough stretch, losing three straight. The Broncos now sit at 10-13 and 5-5 in the Mountain West. Rice believes that he can get this team back into contention. I'll get us back to contending for championships and championship-level basketball, and my push is for this year, Rice said. The team's 3-0 start in conference earned them an 11 seed in ESPN's Joe Lenardi's latest NCAA tournament bracket projections at that time. However, they have since fallen out of that race. Junior forward and reigning Mountain West sixth man of the year Alex Hobbs has scored in double figures in nine of his last ten games while shooting a 46% clip from the field. He is among the team's leading scorers with 12.2 points per game. Junior Justinian Jessup leads the team with an average of 13 points per game, and has the most blocks and assists as well. Boise State does have a chance to turn the tables back into their favor. Now, it's just about putting it all together over the next 60 days, Athletics Boise Boise State.